So Thank ask, you. he could have asked you why do you have you got used for practice? I just want to know, are you okay? Have you gotten used for practice? Are you okay? Have you gotten used for practice? Just answer you the question like you got, you know, he explained himself for five, five minutes. Like, no, don't know. no, be, be telling he explained himself for five minutes. Have you, been, burn from have, you been, have you been you I wasn't burned? Have you been used for practice? <laughs> We have you been used for practice? About the back if in the you not married in a relationship, you would use for practice. So I answer for you. Well, I was just hoping nobody. I would just hope nobody's burning on the panel. I think something's so. okay. I don't know if he's okay. No, don't do that. That's you. You, you try to shame men, and then when a man gives you the same treatment, you get offended and you play victim. That's what happens. But Ali, you got to remember what, what you know. Mr. Let, let go, Mr. Let go, Mr. Let go. No, 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 no. You know what I'm about to I say. I gave you the family. I gave you the chance. She tried no, to just shame saying, you. You know what I'm no, about to say, right? I, I came through again. I'm watching her brother getting shamed. Anton was talking about women, and she went to start and talk about graping, and nobody was talking about graping. And y'all stood on coat. Only fire. one. On, he's the only person that says something, and she's still going at you. Shouldn't you become a husband? And you're saying, well. But no, this is let go. Mr. Mr. Let go. To no, this the, when she's no, talking about that. No, this the problem. You should have just told her that men treat you accordingly, and you want to explain what you do with your manhood. She Bro. she being used for practice, and you sitting here explaining yourself. I, I I I don't think anybody on the panel really understands why you're argumentative about this. <laughs> now I'm argumentative, Mr. Let go. I'm We're having a conversation, bro. Like, what's no, family, you staying on coach. This is the problem: is men flip flop. Men start coaching sessions about how to how to treat women accordingly. If she doesn't act like a wife, throw her in the streets. If she acts like a wife, marry her. But then what? you let her. You went to pandering for her. That's what you just did. Pandering for her. You're how? pandering her because she tried to shame you. She can't shame me. She's she a was woman. doing it. Women can't shame men. Nobody cares about what women think. What I, I say that all the time. Yes, you did because you just explained yourself. I'm having a you conversation with a woman. No, bro, Mr. Let Go, you contradict I don't get yourself. Offended when women, you I, explained I, yourself. No, no, that's where you die. Let's have a bit of respect. No, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares what women think because your mom, your mom's a woman, isn't she, Mr. Let Go? She is. What is that? What was my mom had to do with this? Yeah, Lady Chan, you might want to stand down. No, no, no I won't want to stand down. You, you might um, want to stand down. You've got a panel of women. Yeah. You've got a panel of women that are on here, sir. And whether you guys are having your back and forth, that's cool. I'm, I'm the new kid on the block here. But at the end of the day, to throw out comments as nobody cares what women think, then you may as well have an all men panel. Okay, one, I can say what the hell I want to say. Okay, how about that? Who you can count? Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, is is there anything else? Do, do you want me to say right, what I just said okay. again? That's all I had to say. No, I, thank you, thank you. So no. mute back and B Taylor and y'all can finish apologize. arguing back and forth with Ali. Be apologetic. Can you, can you just mute? Yeah, we're gonna can go ahead and uh, mute. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah we're gonna, you, you haven't muted yet. Neither of you. We've been waiting for you to stay mute for the last twenty minutes. I'm waiting. Oh. To <laughs> okay, I'm oh. mute. Oh. If I'm mute, oh. you mute. Brad, boring. Mad I'm boring. mute, so you're mute. Mind, 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 just have to just call it, keep it apart. I'm bored. Once married, a wife goes are secondary to their husbands. Let's go ahead and play this clip. Sis, can I share something with you? As wives, it's very important that we understand that when we, once we become married, that the visions and goals that we have for ourselves are secondary to the visions and goals that God has given to our husbands for our family. But we have to realize that if we've already submitted ourselves to our husband, and we should have if you're married to him, that God will always make sure that your goals and dreams are looked after. You're not giving them up, but they're not the primary purpose in the marriage. The primary purpose is for us to ensure that our husbands meet their vision and goals because they're the ones that lead the family. And for the direction of the family, God is going to give it to your husband. So if you're doing your own thing, your husband's doing his own thing, that means you're out of order and you need to come back under order by uh, following his footsteps and following his authority and his direction as to where this marriage is going to go. It's important and it's God's word. Remember that today and carry on. All right, let's go ahead and get into the topic, which is once married, a wife goes are secondary to their husbands. I'm going to go ahead and start with, uh, let me start with Precious. What are your thoughts about that? It's true. I knew you were going to start with me. Um, <laughs> I I believe so. 
uh, we're helpmates. And so in order to help, there has to be a goal that you're, or, or a vision that you're underneath. Um, and honestly, your wife goals are usually your goals. You know what I mean? If you're picking the right one, then her goals are your goals. And so she's helping you with that. She's making sure that you're good. So I, I, I don't know necessarily know about secondary per se, because I think you should be on the same wavelength as a team. You both should be working towards the same thing. So you have to pick someone that is willing to be on your team to actually help you for, uh, get to your goals. You can have the same goals, um, but you know, as people get older, they like they up come up with new new things that they want to do, right? So, when you have something new that wasn't on the plan, then is it going to become secondary because you're a wife, or is it going to you know come first to the plan that he already has? So normally, um, it should probably come secondary at the time, but it doesn't mean that the plan that you have that's new is not going to be executed. It just depends on the timing because a lot of women, we like to come up with a whole bunch of ideas, right? But then some of those ideas might not be that great. So it's like dissecting what's better for, you know, the time, you know, the time period. So if you want, so let's say your husband is, uh, his goals is to, I don't know, be social media famous, right? And it takes a lot of money, marketing, whatever the case is. They trying to be like Mr. Let Go here, right? So you want your woman to help you elevate in that way so anything that's taking you away from it can mess up the goals that he has especially if he's the provider so if he's the provider then you can't mess up the provider's bag now can you put in your piece later when the time is right and i'm saying the time is right when it comes to the success that that man has then sure, yeah. But if it's going to take away from that goal, since he is the sole provider, and that's, you know, most women's, I mean, most relationships today is normally the man is providing and having like, you know, higher earnings in that way. That's what women want anyway. Then it's not like it's bad that it's secondary. It's just, that's just reality of it. Hmm, interesting. Go ahead, Lady Chan. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I agree with um, Lady Di. Um if the man's the, uh, the 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 breadwinner, the provider, then you've kind of got to put you. He's got he's got to lead, and then you've got to kind of follow. Definitely, um, <clears throat> and it also depends on kind of in a way in the dynamic and how you meet because you know you may have had <clears throat> two. Your wife may have had a, or has a really great career as well, and your husband has a great career as well. But you have to come to some kind of compromise. And obviously the man is the role. He's the, he's the leader. So there's going to have to be like communication, talk about these types of things. And like Lady Di said in the beginning, what it is, what it is. If you want to add in new stuff, then that and then you're trying to add in a bunch of new things. And then it's convoluting the relationship and taking away you know, the dynamic of, of, of a proper relationship, you're doing this, he's doing this and you're never coming together. Um, then, then there's a problem, 